let's get back to the Nano VNA and what it's useful for. What you see is the, the H4 Nano VNA and channel uh, zero is displaying log mag. Now what that stands for is log just means it's a logarithmic amplitude. In other words, instead of it being like 10 volts, 20 volts, 30 volts, it's 10 dB, 20 dB, 30 dB. We'll talk about dB later. There are three markers, one at the left, one about in the middle, and one near the right. They are set at 1 megahertz, about 400 megahertz, and about 800 megahertz. You'll notice that, let me see if I can zero in on this and get it to focus. There we are. You notice that it shows number one, that means marker number one, is at one megahertz. And then it says D3. What that stands for is delta three. In other words, what it is saying is that that marker one, the one that's shown at the top, is 809 mega, 809.1 megahertz from marker three. Delta to three is minus 809.1. In other words, 809.1 megahertz less than this marker is where marker 1 is. So uh, I thought I would show you that because you, you can get the delta display and if you want to know the distance in, in frequency between two markers on the nano VNA it's displayed right there. Now let's talk a little more about what this plot is. Well this plot is the log magnitude and it is a transmission measurement. I'll show you a little more about that in a minute and we will review that. The, uh, it runs from 1 megahertz on the left to 900 megahertz on the right. So what is it showing us the log magnitude of? Well, it's this Splitter combiner made by many circuits. What this device does is the signal that comes in here, which is coming from channel zero of the nano VNA, gets split into two. The loss in this direction is 6 dB and the loss in that direction is 6 dB. Now let's take a look at the data sheet for this uh, splitter combiner. There we are. I'm going to uh, zero in just a little bit more so that you can see what the... Uh, it says the frequency range is from DC to 4200 megahertz or 4.2 gigahertz. The typical isolation is 6 dB. The insertion loss is typically only 0.1 dB. So what that means is that if we look at this frequency chart, what happens is the from S to port 1 at 50 kilohertz, you lose 6 dB. At 100 megahertz, you lose 6.03 dB, and it goes all the way up to 6.12 dB at 4200. We're operating it at about, up to about 1000 megahertz, that's about 5.99, so the actually there isn't as quite 6 dB of loss at 1000 megahertz. But this is the uh, data sheet, and here gives you an idea. 
of the uh, the VSWR and the total loss. Now, on the screen, we are displaying this. In other words, and but only from from one megahertz to about nine hundred megahertz, and this is what we mean by log magnitude. Let's talk just a little bit more about that. First remember, we are talking about a transmission. In other words, we are putting a signal in on one side of a device and we are reading the signal on the other side or measuring it on the other side. This is channel zero of the nano VNA going in here. This is the mini circuit splitter and this is channel one of the uh, nano VNA. Now, unfortunately, when they labeled the ports of the nano VNA, they did something that is a little bit strange, at least to me. You notice that they have here S11 but they have S11 as going from channel 0 to cha back to channel 0, in other words, down here and back. If you were going to label it that way, technically this should be called S00, because it's S from 0 to 0, because that's channel 0. If they meant this to be channel 1, they should have labeled this, or S11, they should have labeled this channel 1. And then this would have made more sense to say, call this S21 because this is channel, really channel 2 or port 2. So even though this is called channel 0 and this is called channel 1, I hope this won't be too, too confusing. Really, what we have is channel 0 connected to port 1 and channel 1 connected to port 2. I thought I would mention that before we talk about the scattering parameters. These parameters, and once again, you don't need to worry about uh, memorizing all of this. You can look it up anytime you want to on Wikipedia. A scattering parameter is basically the most convenient way to measure higher frequency devices. It uses two power ratios, or, or a power ratio, two powers. So, S11 is the power at port 1 divided by the power at port 1. And what they mean by that is the signal goes out, is reflected, and comes back. And the ratio of what goes out, I'm sorry, what comes back to what goes out is called S11. Now, that can be measured in... Uh, as a simple ratio, or it can be measured in terms of return loss. I'm not going to go more into return loss at this point, because the thing we're more interested in today is this S21. That is the power at port 2 divided by the power at port 1. And it's, so once again, these are uh, rated in decibels. So we'll talk about decibels in a second. Just, just call this a power and this a power, and the, this is the power that is coming out of port 2, remember this picture here, relative to the power that's going in to port 1. And we are reading this ratio for all the frequencies between 1 megahertz and 900 megahertz, and we're plotting it logarithmically. In other words, on the nano VNA, each of these lines represents 10 dB. How do we know that? Because it says it right up here. Log mag 10 dB. Right there. Maybe hard to read. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you are. And This is the log magnitude at 1 megahertz. This is at 400 megahertz. This is at 800 megahertz. Whoops. Get rid of that. Uh, so, 
That is how you measure transmission. Before I stop, though, I think I would like to review briefly what this whole idea of decibels is about. So here is a quick overview of decibels. First, a decibel just means one-tenth of a bell. The bell is a unit that is named for Alexander Graham Bell. And it is measured using logarithms to the base 10, or what are often called common logarithms. To compute the uh, power ratio in bells or decibels, you have to multiply 10 times the common logarithm of a power ratio. In other words, one power referenced to another power. The, the lower power is usually, or, or the denominator, uh, is normally the reference power, and the numerator is normally the power you're measuring. So to measure in decibels, you multiply 10 times the log to the base 10 of that ratio. P and P ref must be measured in the same units. In other words, you can't measure this in watts and this in megawatts. So if P and P ref are in the same units, let's look at an example. Suppose that P is 10 milliwatts and P ref is 1 milliwatt. So the ratio of the powers is 10 to 1. We take that ratio. We then take the common logarithm, log to the base 10, which you can do this with any, any calculator that's, uh, that's got uh, log functions on it. Then we multiply by 10. So 10 to 1, the log to the base 10 of 10 is 1. So it's 10 times the log to the base 10, which is 1, equals 10. So for a power ratio of 10 to 1, it turns out that the um, decibel ratio, or the decibel uh, difference, is 10, 10 decibels. Let me give you an example, or, or a chart, that gives you uh, uh, maybe a little more insight into this. In the first column are the decibels. In the next column is the power units. And notice that at a value of 1, the, let me slide this up just a little bit, at a value of a 1 here, you get a power ratio of 1. At a ratio of 10, you get a power ratio uh, of 10. That is, the, uh, if the power ratio is 10, you get 10 dB. If, on the other hand, the power ratio is 100, you get 20 dB. If the power ratio is 1,000, you get 30 dB. And now I think you can see why that you use these sorts of things. Suppose that you're dealing with a circuit in which the ratio of the output power to the input power is 100,000, like a, a large broadcast, the final amplifier of a large broadcast transmitter. In that case, it's much easier to measure 50 dB than it is to display on, on a scale of 100,000 to 1. So you, the input to the amplifier might only be 10 dB, and the output might be 50 dB. So it's much easier to show this uh, signal and this signal on the same graph if you display it in decibels rather than in uh, absolute values. Because, of course, if you have a chart that has 100,000 at the top, you're not going to be able to see the difference between 10 and 12 or uh, 9 or whatever. So that's the reason why that they use uh, decibels. And on 
the VNA the reason why that we measure here log magnitude in this case 10 dB per step so I hope this has been helpful in uh, understanding how a vector network analyzer can be useful for measuring various quantities in the case that we're talking about what we measured was this uh, splitter and this could be virtually anything. It could be an amplifier, it could be a filter, uh, it could be a circuit you've designed. Anytime you want to know the, how a signal is being transformed from the input to the output, you use a transmission measurement like this. And that is normally called S21 the output over the input. So I hope I haven't confused the issue. Uh, maybe uh, I've pointed out some things that you either didn't remember or hadn't ever seen before. But in, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to some more and have a nice day.